Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101 and we got a break in the weather. Uh, it's been a couple days. There's this tradition that Ohio has the day after Halloween where it just actually started Halloween. Where it's like, okay, it's fall now, we're going to just drizzle cold rain constantly, non-stop for a couple days. Just F your videos, forget about them. <laughs> So it's actually been pretty nice out here today and uh, came out here to get one done. And this is one that I promised a couple of weeks back because this one is a giveaway. I like giveaway videos. You know why? Because very few people complain about them. Who doesn't like free stuff? So what we're talking about today is a backpack from VanQuest and it is the Katara 16. Now this is a smaller pack it's kind of like I would say an urban day pack but what is special about this one is the way that the strap configurations work because what this pack does is it can convert from a straight backpack to more of a v-slinger uh, single strap backpack for left hand or right hand carry whichever one fits you best and it's really kind of a neat uh, way that they did it and it makes it very versatile makes it very different so if you think that's something that you might possibly be interested in and maybe possibly want to win one don't go away Okay, so as I go through this and looking at the different features that this has, I'm going to do it differently than what I usually do, which is probably what they've always wanted me to do, but I never freaking do it. And that is I'm going to look at their little detail sheet about everything, and I'm just going to follow the order of that, and that way everything will be covered and I won't miss anything. So yay for being thorough. Going through this thing. So here we're talking about the outer top pocket, which has a pretty generous uh, Velcro patch panel with the logo here. But it has a zippered compartment. Very nice, good, solid rip stop material. Uh, elastic webbing organization, a slip pocket, and a hook and loop field for ID patches. So that's going to be the outer pocket right here. So that's what we have here. This is going to be like your quick access stuff. Now the bottom pocket, which is this one here, is lined with get my water out. It's got the 210 denier high vis orange uh, ripstop nylon. It's got enough room for an iPad mini, which I'll take your word for that because I've never owned an iPad. Samsung all the way, baby. Uh, has room for wallet, phones, etc. Behind this pocket is a hidden CCW compartment for a compact subcompact. So there's a hidden pocket here. Hmm. Let's find this thing. Aha! I found it. Very sneaky. So it's actually right here. So I don't think I've ever seen them put uh, a compart like a CCW compartment on a bag quite like they did here. It's very cool. It's uh, low profile. I mean, I certainly didn't notice it, and I'm, I, I may not have noticed it at all had, had I not been doing what I should have been doing all along, which is reading the damn sheet. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, and yep. I figured it would be this way. So it's going to be like this on either side, so it is ambidextrous. That makes this thing pretty freaking cool. Huh. You know what? Forget that giveaway. I'm keeping this. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, no, I, I, I will give it away. Don't worry. Jeez. So the outer part of the pocket is a low-profile laser-cut Cordura 
Molly air panel for additional attachments. And that's the big thing about VanQuest. It gets just overlooked too often. They're using Cordura. Cordura is like Band-Aid. You know, we call all adhesive bandages Band-Aids. But Band-Aid is a brand. It's like the top brand. Nowadays, you know, people tend to call this stuff like Cordura when it's, you know, it's a some type of nylon or whatnot. It's Cordura is a brand, so they're using brand name stuff here. Okay, so now we've got the 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 main compartment opened up, and this looks very interesting uh, as opposed to what I'm used to seeing. So let's go ahead with this. It says inside of the Qatar there is a padded sleeve, which is this right here. Uh, for tablets, ultra books up to 12 inches and can be accessed from the left or right side of the pack. That's why it's shaped like this. The sleeve also doubles as a hydration bladder pocket. Does anybody even use those anymore? I mean, like, except active duty. I can't remember the last time I seen anybody use one, but, you know, oh well. The front of the sleeve is lined with loop fabric for your hook and loop accessories. So that's what I was talking about. It's like... It, it, it's like soft and it's orange and I'm like wow that's something different so interesting interesting now let's go over here to the other side opposite of the padded sleeve you'll find a zippered pocket on top which is this and a three mode convertible pocket on the bottom the three-mode convertible pocket can be opened from its left or right zipper and has a flat top closure. So you open up here, up top, and then you've also got zippers on each side. So it can also be rolled down and stored, revealing a large loop field for even more hook and loop accessory attachments. So let's do that real quick. So it says it can be rolled up and stored. I'm just not exactly sure which way that would be. Uh, that's a little confusing to me. But, interesting. I don't personally see the need for more of those type attachments. I mean, not with this bag. Not. It's just kind of... It would be overkill. This isn't a very big bag. And you've got this stuff right here for like flashlights or, or whatnot. Now before we get to the cool part, you know, there's, rather than me sit here and rattle all this stuff off where you just have to listen to me talk, if you want to see the, the dimensions and specs, pause the video right here and read them. Now let's get to the part of this that makes it unique. Okay, so when it's just in backpack mode which is the way that it comes everything is fine this is how they went about doing this so you've got this section up here you're gonna open this snap and either side whichever side you're gonna move very tight I mean obviously they want this to be as secure as possible you see that right there? That is where the backpack strap attaches. And what they've done is they've got uh, some, they want this, when you switch it back and forth, to be able to put it back right each time. So they've actually stitched an outline in the hook and loop uh, material in orange so you, got, so you can put it back exactly right each time. Pull that down. And then I'm gonna pull this one off. Oh, also you gotta disconnect this loop up here. That's gonna keep it keep it from coming off. Okay, so that one is back. Snap that. Now what we're gonna do is store it. So once we've got that detached there, where would we put this? Hmm. I don't know. For now, I'm just going to put it in here. I 
know that's probably not the right answer, but that's what I'm doing. Disconnect. Put the other strap in there. And then what this can do is you can unsnap that there, flip it around, and it can snap in like that. And now you have converted this to a gear slinger style. So let's throw this on real quick. Okay, so I got this thing on. I've got it switched around to the other mode, which normally speaking would not be the way that I would choose to carry something. That being said, I think the size matters with this bag because it doesn't allow for you to really load it up too much to load it up to where it's actually heavy and then you know certain people especially when you start getting a little bit on the older side if you're walking around with things unbalanced for a period of time it can throw your ribs off and stuff like that but with this bag it's just it, it it's it's enough for the stuff you need but you're not going to do like the whole prepper bug out bag mistake and load this thing down with 120 pounds and walk around with it but this would be this, this is something I, I would think would be really good, uh, really well suited, like if you lived in New York City, and where nobody drives, and you're, you're just going here and there. You got to have your bags, or you, you got to have a bag so you can put like your iPad, your phone charger, your keys, your, your mace, whatever, you know, the little stuff, but stuff that is pretty essential. This bag would be pretty good for that. You know, living in a city uh, because some of the other bags might just be too much they might uh, stand out too much this this almost this looks like a messenger bag at this point but it's definitely cool um, I would probably definitely use it if I was keeping it but like I said uh, when I first mentioned this bag I just got a couple different bags bags that I wanted uh, that hidden woodsman bag the other the, the Mobius 2.0 from VanQuest, so it's like, why don't we just make this a giveaway? Give someone else a chance uh, to get something cool for free. So that is what we're gonna do with it. Uh, as far as how it works with a backpack, obviously, uh, yeah, I didn't film it, but I, this is what I wore to get back here. It's fine, it's, it's a small size day pack. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's nice, I like it, it's pretty cool. It just depends on is it the, you know like I say with every bag video is it the bag that is best suited to what you specifically need because not everybody has to buy every freaking bag that you see you just, you just don't that's that's dumb but this is definitely cool and it definitely fits a niche and I don't think I've seen another bag quite like this with the whole strap thing so two thumbs up so this was more of like a tabletop first impression style video as opposed to usually when I do a bag video I have used it uh, to some degree to get a really good idea about it only reason I didn't do that here is because I wanted it to be a giveaway so I didn't want to mess up somebody's new bag uh, I've been doing this a while I can kind of figure out what we need to see doing it this way so there was a couple surprises in there that I honestly probably would have missed <laughs> had I not used the freaking sheet that they include with these things it's like I should be more responsible I, I'm just it's it's the way I think I I don't think ahead I can usually just fly by the seat of my pants but sometimes that gets me into trouble and I miss things so I'm glad I didn't do that this time because I'd be going back like oh shit there's another pocket there I didn't even see it <laughs> I know, I know. All right, so I'm going to put links to this in the description box below. If it's something that you are interested, I'll put links to VanQuest. And if it is on Amazon, I will. I don't know if it is yet. I'll have to check. But if it is, I will. Son of a bitch. Speaking of Amazon. <laughs> 
I get these little uh, Amazon Basics tripods. That's generally what I use because they're lightweight. And then when I combine them with this uh, monopod that I have here, I get a full-size tripod. It's easy for me to pack out, do videos and that sort of thing. Problem is, you know, they might last about six months before they break and then you gotta start jerry-rigging them. So, time, for, time for me to order a new tripod. That one just basically gave up the ghost. I don't remember where I was in the at with the whole ending uh, spiel, but uh, links are in the description box below. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.